G'day folks, I've been asked to show how I've built this Raku kiln. It's made from a 55 gallon, 200 litre oil drum. It's lined with the 25 millimetre thick ceramic fibre insulation, two layers of that. And all I've done is uh, just cut it two thirds of the way down. I've got dimensions later on in the video which I'll show you. There's a couple of things that I would actually change and I have done on a later version. Uh, one of which is, as you can see here, the ceramic fibre uh, comes up above the height of the oil drum itself. Uh, but I really needed to take them out a little bit higher because what's happened is that uh, it's compressed down and I've lost the seal between the, um, between the lid and the base. So I would change that, so make that a bit higher. And also on the flue, um, I used the existing holes, one of which was the fill hole for the uh, lid and I made another one which was a bit larger. Um, but I think it actually works better with a central hole, so just block those two up and a, a central six inch diameter hole in the lid. And then if you cut the ceramic fibre to about five inches and uh, that stops any uh, paint getting burnt off the lid um, because the, uh, the ceramic fibre actually absorbs the heat. Cutting the drum. Now be very, very careful doing this. Um, I did it with a um, battery powered grinder, but I filled the drum up completely with water uh, before I started cutting and just ran around with the grinder very lightly uh, where I wanted to cut it until I got to the point where I was just breaking through the metal and obviously the water starts coming out at that stage but it's thin enough that you can um, you, you can just whiz round and, uh, and finish it off. Um, please do not cut one of these drums up with a grinder just straight off. Uh, you don't know what's been in it and there's a good chance it'll just explode. So yeah, if, if in doubt, don't do it. The ceramic blanket that I used was 7.2 metres long and that was enough to uh, complete the project. Uh, it's 25 millimetres thick and 610 millimetres in width. Uh, yours may be different, uh, just adjust the dimensions to suit. Uh, as I said earlier, you want to leave at least 30 millimetres protruding above the, the actual main kiln um, as that will squash down over, over a period of time when the uh, lid's been placed on the top and probably about 20 millimetres of extra blanket sticking out from the bottom of the lid. Um, I'll let uh, you work out all the uh, dimensions yourself to fit, uh, uh, fit the kiln that you're building. Um, the hole to put the burners in, um, I actually used two in the end but um, you might want to start with one and see how you go. Uh, I made 70 millimetres in diameter and it's also a good idea to try and raise it up above the, uh, the, the bottom of the uh, blanket so that the burner doesn't actually sit on the blanket. Uh, I found if it does that it tends to stick to it and um, damage the blanket at the bottom. The thermocouple, uh, it's a K-type thermocouple, is approximately 150 millimetres down from the uh, top of the main kiln. It's uh, quite a good idea to put handles on these so that you can move them around more easily. And um, I actually made them from an old wine rack. So this is the part of the wine rack, just cut the ends off there and uh, they um, fit in the side of the kiln quite neatly. Uh, they're also stainless steel so they don't rust. To secure the ceramic blanket to the oil drum, I made up some 50 millimeter diameter ceramic discs with a couple of holes in the middle and they have nichrome high temperature wire running through them and through the outside of the drum. Uh, the wire is about uh, 1.62 millimeters in diameter and you'll probably need about a dozen of those. I made my ceramic discs from a fairly groggy clay and actually fired them to around about 1260 but you might get away with firing them just to bisque temperature. The burners. I use a forge burner, in fact I use two of them because they have a, a primary air adjustment which I find useful to get the flame setting correct. Um, these ones have been modified slightly, the, uh, the actual end of them is being made from 
uh, marine grade stainless steel because I found that the original steel ones started to degrade fairly quickly. I believe you can use these burners available on eBay. I think they're for burning back weeds, but I have heard that they do work. I haven't actually tried one myself. Um, and the, uh, the other thing that you'll need obviously is a, a, a gas pressure regulator on the bottle itself just so that you can get that burner pressure correct. The thermocouple is a standard K-type thermocouple available on eBay. Uh, they're not very expensive and that's fixed approximately 150 millimeters down from the top of the main body of the kiln. You'll also need a pyrometer, again available on eBay and this one does the job adequately. I hope that just about covers everything. I did put some casters on the bottom of this kiln so I can move it around easily and obviously you'll need some kiln furniture, um, posts and shelves to put the pots on. Um, good luck and thank you very much for watching.